What's up everybody? This is my video on how to get full mirror link using your Galaxy phone and this is for the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6. Unfortunately, this will not work on the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy S4 and I'll show you basically how I was able to get this to work and what you will need first is you have to make sure that your Galaxy phone has the Samsung MirrorLink software already installed on it and I'll just show you real quick go to your settings go to your connections scroll down and you'll see MirrorLink and there it is right there that's the software needed unfortunately the Galaxy App Store does not if you have a S3 or an S4 you won't be able to find this in there I'm not sure why but that's the reason why this will not work if you have either of those phones but this will work for the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6 and this also works on HTC phones I believe the the app is called car it's by HTC and the guys over at Five Star Car Stereo, they do a YouTube video on how to get that done if you want to check that out. Basically, it works the same way. And after you install, after you get the MirrorLink software from the Galaxy App Store, what you'll need to download next to your phone is this app called Rock Scout. And that app you can find in the Google Play Store. It is a certified mirror link app and that's why you do you can see it here it does say that it is certified so that's the best way for it to work and also for you will need the the pioneer emergency brake bypass already installed because the rock scout app will recognize if the parking brake is up or if it's down so you will need to do that in order for it to work while you're driving and also what you will need to have on your phone is a launcher like the apex launcher or the nova launcher you can get that from the google play store also and that will help so that when you hook your phone up to mirror link it won't stay in portrait mode you'll be able to set it in landscape mode so that way it'll basically look like this on your on your head unit and I have the Pioneer AVH X2700 BS that's the radio that I work with so basically anybody that has one of these new Pioneer radios where you can access MirrorLink via USB this will work but um, just a disclaimer this is not perfect technology it it's still it, it really isn't the best so if you're driving somewhere you gotta go somewhere real quick and come back I wouldn't recommend using it because it is a hassle using it but once you do get it to work it does work good so let me see if I can go ahead and see if it'll it'll work on the first try so and I'll go ahead and hook my phone up. And I actually use the USB 3.0 cable because it, it does, it helps with the connection a little better. But it's basically what you want to do. So let me get the car turned on. Let's see what we got. Radio is on. Let me cut the radio off. So I cut the radio off. So basically, what I'm waiting for now is for the phone to link up with the with the head unit, and you'll see what happens as soon as I get that done. See, now you can see it says. On the phone it says your phone and car are connected via mirror link that's what you want 
Okay, now all I have to do is just push apps, hit the OK button. There is the Rock Scout app. I hit Rock Scout. I hit this button here and there you have it I have full mirror link access to my phone another um, tidbit about this is that the audio for mirror link is kind of, it's a standalone so you're not able to access the EQ or any of the audio settings on pioneer to adjust the audio which which is that really sucks but what I did I downloaded an audio booster from the Google Play Store and it's called music volume EQ it did help with the bass and basically you can do just about anything on here and if you want to remove the sidebar to make the screen larger just hit display and you'll have full access of the screen and it's not seamless technology because it is some, some delay and I believe that's just because it's a USB connection but you can basically do anything if you have your Google talk set up where it will respond to any um, any of your commands on the screen that will work if you have your Bluetooth hooked up so um, just to demonstrate uh, let me uh, see if that'll work okay Google okay Google well I guess for some reason it's not working at this time maybe I don't have the volume up or something but normally that does work but um, that's alright though um, I can just show you basically um, the music setting uh, you can play any of your music on here it, it works it works good Let's see it does play all your music Let's see. Let's see, I have full control of that. Your music does work. All your, all your music does work. And also, if you need to get back, all you do is just push the display button so the sidebar come back up. Hit the back button, and it'll take you all the way back out. And also, you want to make sure that the Rock Scout app is down there because sometimes if you will listen to the radio or playing a CD or something, that source will still be on there. So you want to make sure that that source is set to the Rock Scout app when you set up for MirrorLink. Okay, so after that, um, also uh, YouTube, you can access YouTube, but since it's just a USB net connection, it doesn't look good because it's, it's real choppy so I wouldn't use that um, if it was a HDMI connection it would be better but it's not and also I know a lot of you out there have been trying to get DriveLink Samsung DriveLink to work if you have a working copy of DriveLink that does not crash it will work so, as you can see down there, I do have DriveLink, and I'll show you that it does work. As long as you're doing, using this method, going through the Rock Scout app, it's like, it's, it's crazy, because you have to use one MirrorLink app for another to work, but, I mean, hey, as long as it works. Agree. Good Agree. afternoon. Today is expected to be cloudy and the current temperature is 63 degrees. All right. And, I mean, it basically works just the way it's set up. Use your phone, navigation, music, everything. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Yep, you can access everything on here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. This is the one and only, the big Snoopy Deagle Double G. Yeah. 
everything is basically accessible on drive link the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, drive link does work the way it's supposed to. The only downside is if you don't want to use drive link and you're already in it, you will need to uh, come out of mirror link all the way. That way, um, you won't have Good any afternoon. problems. Today's you'll have to. to be what I mean is, I'm sorry, you have to back all the way out of mirror link in order for it to work. So I'll just uh, push that button there. And I'll go back in, hit Rock Scout. Okay, I guess that didn't work that way. So let me try something else. I'll push the Apps button and go back all the way like I'm going starting from the beginning. So see, basically to start over, that's the only way you'll be able to come out of Drive Link if you really wanted to exit out of Drive Link while you're still in Mirror Link mode. And see, Drive Link will pop up, but if you don't want to use it, I mean, just like it says, you know, hit disagree, and it'll go back to your home screen. And I, I want to, I really do want to see if the, the Google will work, so I'm going to try it again, see if it'll work for everybody. Okay, Google. That's weird. I'm not sure why it's not working, because normally that does work. Okay, Google. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's not working at this time, but normally that does work. Sorry for the brightness of the screen. Um, okay, there. And yeah, this is my first instructional video, so sorry for the bad camera angles and things. But basically, I'm just trying to get you guys to see that full mirror link does work. And my phone is non-rooted, so you don't have to jailbreak your phone. You don't have to do anything like that. Just download that software that I mentioned at the beginning, and you will be able to access um, your phone full mirror link using this, using the Rock Scout app, and making sure that you have the Galaxy, um, the Samsung mirror link software installed on your phone from the Galaxy App Store. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below.